Martin, I'm one of the programmers for the Phenomenon section of the festival. And my name's Lisa and I'm also one of the programmers for the Phenomenon section of the festival and everything that's on at Day of the Dead today, me and Martin have programmed together. So you've had to sit and sit through loads and loads of horror films basically. Oh yeah. Did you come out the other end a little bit traumatised? <laughs> you look okay. I think we're doing okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's what we do year round. We basically spend our time uh, requesting films, watching them, going to other festivals. So what gets shown at the festival is probably about 10% of what we actually watch. Um, that process starts in about January, yeah. so it is wow. a long year <laughs> job just watching films and uh, speaking to directors and distributors and just being nice to filmmakers, <laughs> really, and uh, getting the best films possible can from all over the world. So what are you looking for for the phenomenon bit? What's, what's it about? What, what criteria do films have to meet? Uh, Phenomenon basically is a celebration of genre film uh, in all its elements, so horror, sci-fi, action, fantasy, uh, anime, uh, we have a big anime day as well. Um, there is a, a focus on horror, um, Night of the Dead and Day of the Dead have become kind of major fixtures within the festival programme. Yeah, there's a lot of variety, a lot of fresh new um, horror films from all over the world at Day of the Dead. So what's going on around Leeds the rest of the time that makes it a perfect place to have a day like this? You know, you said there's a lot of horror films. We have quite a, there's a huge student population in Leeds and I think that horror films appeal to it. They're quite a youthful sort of thing to do, to get to go out and get scared by something. It's quite a look nice Look out in front of your mates. Yeah, look out <laughs> in front of your mates, definitely. I think cinema especially, it's, um, it's still affordable, you know, there's things that are happening with the economy at the moment, people are kind of tightening the purse strings. Uh, it still doesn't cost that much to go to the cinema, it certainly doesn't cost that much to come to the festival. Um, and you can get a pass for the whole festival for uh, £90 now, which gives you the opportunity to see films. If you came every day to see stuff, you basically see films for about £2 each, which is just a fantastic value. Um, and I think it's one of those things, it is, it's... Um, People see it as a, a release, you know, it's still awake, it's kind of, you get to spend a couple of hours kind of seeing something, takes you out of like your mundane everyday life, you know, for you. Trying to forget how skinny you are. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, and we found that with the festival, even this year, we were worried when, you know, we were putting the festival on over obviously what's happened with uh, the economy and everything, would it affect ticket sales? And it's actually been the opposite for it's us. It's been the, uh, Day of the Dead has been the, it's broken all records mm -hmm. for Day of the Dead. And yeah. It's looking like some of the films today are going to be the uh, biggest selling films of Phenomenon ever, which is just amazing that Phenomenon as a section is getting bigger, bigger and bigger year on year, and it's been around for 11 years now. Yeah. So you're both big horror fans. Absolutely. We wouldn't be able to do our job if, if we weren't. You have to you have to absolutely love it to do this job. I mean, like like Martin says, we, we watch so many, so, so many horror films, and, and not just horror films, I mean, everything throughout Phenomenon, sci-fi, action, anime, and you've got to be really passionate about it and just know what people want. And I think that, I'd like to think that we're quite good. Um, you have to be a horror fan because you need to know what people like yourself would want to watch. So won't be able to do it unless you're absolutely obsessed and absolute geeks like we are. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, the audience come and tell us that yeah, they, they like what we do, they're always uh, generally pleased with what we programme, so it's just kind of really nice to get that feedback to know that we are getting it right. So should we let you go back and watch some of your films then? That would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, you're welcome. Thank you. Cheers.